Hey everybody, check this out. Okay, uh, 1600 psi. Uh, it's electric. It's electric uh, washer. Um, here's all the pictures. Scroll along the bottom. Bad part: this one ends at 20 hours. Okay, look at the price I paid. Free shipping. I mean, it's so so uh, so cool. I just received it. Hey everybody, this is uh, the Blue Clean AR Blue Clean's uh, speed washer. All right, electronic uh, power washer set, uh, 1600 psi. Uh, just got finished putting it together and I called tech support on something. They responded really fast. A plus tech support uh, during call uh, business hours. Here we go. We'll show you how to put it together, and it's not that hard at all. I right, just open up the box, and the way you get these out real easy is just turn it over, pull this guy up, and there you go. Alright, so there it is. Okay, uh, open, open. Do not return to the store. I don't think we want to return to them anyway. Uh, they got your directions. Always read the directions. Okay, and there is actually a, a, another video I want to make about power. Uh, you know, three prongs, two prongs, right? Three prongs, two prongs. Go, let's go ahead and take this guy out. Alright, it has all the, all the material needed on top. I'm just going to put this in the box that it came out of. All right, just take all that out. All right, and set it over there. Okay, that's the power. That's the handle. When I get that, it's going to require some some uh, screwing. I know that because I saw the video that they had on their YouTube channel. Okay, um, so I grab the bag and pull it out. Might need somebody else to hold this, but I'm not. I don't have anybody with me right now, so. That works just fine. There's nothing else in the bag. This is a nice small unit. I like this. Okay, the power is right there. Uh, some things I like about this, it has a uh, receptacle that has a circuit breaker right there. It's protected right there. Instructions, always read instructions. A lot of us are too lazy to do that and just go right to uh, working on something without reading, reading instructions and then bam, you broke something. So you don't want to do that. A lot, a lot of good information on the side of the box too. That's the advertising, what's in there. So you can just uh, do that. Well, let's go ahead and put this in together now. Well, I unpacked the instructions and the plastic bag that had all this in there. So all that's laying out right now. That's the handle down there. Okay, and this is the unit. Well, the one thing I noticed in the directions, they only have one place where screws go. So I looked at the item number 15 and it says two screws. And they gave us four screws. So don't think that the other two screws go somewhere. They just made a mistake or it's in case you lose a screw. Pretty good idea, I think. All right, so coming down here, all right, let me get back into the position here. All right, we have, uh, we have our handle that actually goes on. Here's the yellow caution. We're going to come from this way and they actually slide on and move it both ways to fit on. Okay, and it takes a little force to get it all the way on. All right, and you take your Phillips head screwdriver. This is a uh, bit that goes to a, a drill. I'm just going to use it and screw it on. Now, I might actually have to hook it up to drill and screw them all the way up. I'm just going to put them uh, in there, and go get my drill and put them all the way down. So that's where they go right there. All right, just making sure in the video you can see what it is. And then, in they go. All right, lay it down to where this pressure fitting is facing up. The blue will be up, and the front will be down. Th this is wrapped with a, uh, a seal. Use your knife outward to cut that, okay, and cut all the way across. All right, if you use the knife inward, you can rupture the hose. So uh, you may be able to, to wrap this all off. Let me set the knife down. And take this off. Take the hose, you want to pull it back. Pull it back like this, where the arrows are. Pull it back, put it down, and lock it in. You want to give a good tug on that, because if this is not in there real good, you're going to turn on the water and it's going to pop off or cause leakage. So you want to give a really good tug on that, not too much, all right, and you don't want to rupture it by going back and forth. You're going to take the other end, and with your thumb, you're going to push toward, squeeze toward the handle. Pop this in all the way and then exert. Now it's going to pop out. You got to do it again. You hear a click and it's in there real good and that's the handle. The whole assembly is put together there. 
Okay, fortunately the wheels are already connected. The instructions say how to do that. But this uh, shows on the picture that it's already there and it shows it on the instructions that's already there. So it's not on. So take the clear one. This is the filter. All right, you need to put it, screw it on there. Make sure it's snug, okay? Tight, don't over tighten it, just make sure it's good and snug, like it's not gonna move anymore. All right, and that's where this guy eventually is gonna plug in and hold the hose on. All right, so this guy pushes down, slides on, let's go. Quick disconnect, all right? And as long as there's a washer there, an O-ring there, it's gonna seal pretty good. So for safekeeping, I'm just gonna put that there for now. Okay, so take this guy here, there's a channel inside, right inside, line it up. This is the extension that goes on the, on the handle. Line it up, and what you're going to do is push really hard, and then you're going to turn. Alright, so this is in there, and you can see that turning right there, inside. So it's going to lock in place right there. So now you can put all your adapters on here. You push down, you put an adapter in, and I'll get one to show you. You just push that down, you see the inside. When you push this down, things move on the inside to allow things to plug in. All right, this is the uh, adjustable nozzle attachment. You're going to slide it in there, and uh, you go down, down until it's completely flush, the handle is down. You go in, you turn it until it pops in. All right, and you hear a click. All right, and when, now you can move this around to different things. Every time it clicks, it's changing a setting. All right, so so and that's what that's what would come out there. Now to get this out, you're going to press down. It's not going to move until you get it to press down, and you pop it back out. Well, there's tech support's number one eight six six two five three five one one two, and they responded extremely fast within uh, business hours. I'm sitting here trying to get this on. Okay, saying it's not screwing on. This is a brush with the three inch adapter. And uh, he said, well, you really have to muscle it in, so squeeze really tight, and voila, it's on. Make it really tight. And what that does is with your, uh, your hose, I'm actually putting this together, and I found another issue uh, that they said they have to fix. Now, with, the, with this, this is a wing nut, so you have to take this guy off, the arm, so you push in, and you turn, pop him out. Put him away, okay, uh, somewhere, all right, and you pop your brush in. All right, same way, right in there, push it in and turn, and your brush is on there. I still have the safety cover on, or the dust-free cover. And then you can uh, actually, if it's facing the wrong way, you can take it, pop it off, turn it around, and put it on. Now it's facing the right direction with the handle. Okay, so now you have your device for washing your car or whatever it is, seats, outdoor porches, and all that. So uh, push it in, pop it out, and there it goes. All right, the other thing that I... Uh, point out, if you remember earlier in the video, we had two extra screws, and nothing in the instructions has this. I was going back here to wind up the, uh, the back, a nice little storage area for your adapters too, all right, uh, right, right here, and that's where the pressure, the pressure part, part goes in, big store, there are three, the three ad adapters. So the, what happened, I'm sitting here putting this on, and this is not in place. So now uh, the thing is, we need to figure out which way it goes. And it has two little things here. One goes in that one, one goes in the other one over here, and push it into place. Uh, now uh, it'll click into place, and now you have two screws. Okay. All right, and there you go. And now another thing, if you have another adapter, you can put it right on top there. And I believe that the uh, hose, this hose right here, goes on the back. One of the hoses goes on the back here, probably the handle. It sure looks like uh, the handle's the only one that has the wings. So you put the handles in, and it locks into place. All right, where this guy can go in up on front, and the brush goes in on the other side. And so that's what that looks like. Let me get that up higher for you. That's what it looks like when it's all stowed. Now, uh, if we take this guy off, we can take our power wire and go around the bottom. I have the plastic off of it. It is a very long wire. And it might have to be untangled too. Well, there it is all stowed. The hose that for the down below is actually in the garage up on a hook. All right, so uh, that's everything else all in position. Uh, that's the plug in the back. And back here, 
Let me turn this to where you get some light on it. Back here is uh, the three-way uh, pressure washer that goes on. Back here is where the compartment is where you can put your hose adapter. All right, as it locks closed. Really nice, convenient way of doing that. All right, so hopefully you like the video, and it's very light, very compact, and fit anywhere in the garage. All right, subscribe, see a whole lot more, and visit them. Uh, it's not really written on here, the website, but it's arblueclean.com. All right, subscribe and see a lot more coming up.